Hello, this is lecture number two for our Fundamentals of Music Reading. What you're going to do now is you're going to do for your first exercise, you're going to take a piece of paper like this, and we're going to draw then five lines. And then we're going to draw what's called the treble clef, and this is just a way of showing that these are the higher notes. And the way you draw a treble clef, just draw an arrow down like that, and we basically draw a backwards S. All right, doesn't need to be fancy. You can put a curly Q there if you want. Now, remember what I told you in this last uh, brief lecture on the evolution of music, basically. We had all those extra lines. We call them ledger lines. Well, we still use them uh, to some extent. We just use little ones like this. Uh, and we're going to do that now. So you're going to draw this five-line staff, and you're going to draw two little lines like this, and you're going to put this note there like that. We're going to come next to it and draw another note there like that. Come next to that, draw one here. Then we're just going to go right up and draw these little notes all the way up. Like that. Then you're going to draw underneath those the names of each of these notes. And they begin like this, they follow the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it's going to start all over again. A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm going to go ahead and draw this other one up here. G. I'm not all that neat. It doesn't really need to be. This is going to be <clears throat> the first exercise that you're going to do. Now, you can set that aside. We're going to use that in just a minute. But what you're going to do is you're going to make memory cards for each one of these and you're going to start memorizing them and all you're going to have to do on each of your memory cards is this I don't care what kind of card you use, you use whatever's convenient you're going to draw your little five lines you're going to draw your little treble clef and then you're going to draw your first note and on the back of that card you'll put A and you're going to do that with each of these cards you can use paper or cards or whatever and you're going to be using that then to memorize. Start using those, memorize those every day that's your first exercise. Here's your second exercise every day. You're going to go back to what you drew. You're going to go to your keyboard and you're going to set this up in your keyboard and you're going to locate that first note, A. And here's how you do it. On any keyboard, just go straight to the middle of the keyboard and you're going to see in the middle you have two black keys and beneath that you have three black keys and that's the pattern of any keyboard two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys we're going smack dab in the middle of your keyboard you've got your two black keys we're going to go down now to these three black keys and between these two keys right here is A and I'm going to bring you up closer Low tech, sorry. So here's our two black keys. Here's our three black keys. And there's the note that we want. That's A. And now you're going you're going to set your little uh, music in front of you. You're gonna look down at your keyboard, and you're going to play that first note and you're going to sing it at the same time. A. Your next note is B, and it's the white note right next to it. B. Your next note is C, and so forth, right up all these white keys. So I'm going to start with A, and here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, I sing real ugly on this, uh, so I'm sure you're going to sing much better. And that's what you're going to do in this exercise. You're going to play those notes and sing them at the same time. And I want you to do that several times a day. Taking this, sing and play. And then you'll notice in your syllabus, uh, for those of you taking this for credit, I want you to record it at the end of the week and send me that so I can hear you. The final thing that you're going to do, your final part of the assignment, is that you're going to, uh, every week, choose a Bible verse 
and we're going to set it to music. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We make these very simple. And so I've chosen from the Beatitudes, Blessed are the poor in spirit. So you're going to take your chart and look at that. We make it very, very easy. And you're going to be selecting from just these notes. And what I'm going to do is show you what I would do if I were you. I'm going to take my... Excuse me. Only took me 30 minutes to find this pen. So uh, you're going to take another piece of paper, make out your five line staff. I'm going to do this quickly. And if I were doing this verse, blessed are the poor in spirit, maybe I would do blessed are the poor in spirit. And I would follow that and I'd be going blessed are the poor in spirit. Now you can get more fancy than this or make it more simple. doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get you to be creative. You're going to put the names of those notes under there. Then you're going to put in your words. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Okay, And then you're going to sing it. You put this in front of you. Blessed are the poor in spirit. You're going to record that and send it to me. So have fun.